Yes, welcome to my presentation. Uh, my name is Melis Yuvalı. Um, I'm a PhD student at uh, Biostatistic Department. Um, today I'm going to talk about classification of trash using artificial intelligence methods. Uh, we chose this uh, subject because uh, garbage is a very significant problem for all of the world. And our presentation is divided into five parts. Goal, introduction, methodology, results and conclusion. Our main purpose of this study is to classify garbage quickly and accurately using artificial intelligent methods in this, instead of separating by human hands. 98% of the world's waste is disposed of in a landfill. Recently, recycling and waste management have been an important part of sustainable economic growth. Recycling is the process of regenerating waste materials to prevent environmental pollution. Out of the recyclable, most of the waste garbage is incinerated or dumped on into the ocean, causing marine and air pollution, which is a serious threat to human health. To ensure that the recycling process is safe, economical, hygienic, fast and accurate garbage must be classified correctly. In methodology, this study has uh, six classes of recyclable materials, cardboard, metal, plastic, glass, paper and other trash. In the study, we use uh, three 1,198 waste garbage images. The proposed system is divided into two stages. The first stage is manipulate, manipulating the images, and the second stage presents the class classification of six recyclable material types using an artificial intelligent method. First step is manipulating images. We use this uh, step because we have increased uh, the number of samples we have by manipulating the images with the image manipulating manipulation methods it consists of original pictures upside down pictures and pictures vertically zoomed to the right and second step is conventional neural networks in deep learning a conventional neural networks is a class of deep neural networks most commonly applied to analyzing visual imagery and this is the other results um, this is not clear but this table is very clear uh, and we understand the table um, our accuracy rate cardboard is 68.3 percentages glass is 35.4 metal is 59.7 Paper is 88 percentages, plastic is 83.3, and other trash is 87.7 percentages. Our total accuracy rate is 69.7 percentage. And our conclusion, the separation of waste by human beings causes serious problems in terms of time economy health and therefore artificial intelligence methods and uh, provide us to significant advantages in solving such problems thank you congratulations you demonstrated it is possible to present the key points in a very short time yes and excellent your presentation each sentence in a size that even i as an old man can read and sentence by sentence was coming. We have six minutes time. Six minutes. First thing, second you. Well, I, I am an environmental engineer, so I have to deal with waste, trash, as you will. But this is, you have an accurate way or semi accurate way to identify different different set, different components of trash 
Mm -hmm. so suppose we do this and use this artificial in intelligence, then how it's going to be useful in, in real life? Because in real life, we have to separate those things one way or the other to provide an applicable disposal methodology or recycled methodology or whatnot. So what does it what does it bring to this to this disposal or recycling methodology? Suppose that we use your your suggestion and use the intelligent artificial intelligence, but how are we going to use this for real disposal problems? Yes, Hajum, uh, thank you for your questions. This is the economical. A uh, lot of um, countries try to solve this problem and try to uh, create a um, solution, but everything is include the economic. Yep. Just well, we will you. try this. Yes. Okay. Please. Uh, thank you very much for a very uh, lovely. Please louder. Uh, 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 my question is actually, is there any specific reason? that you have been considered organic waste. Because yeah. I can see uh, in the category you have to add papers, uh, waste, uh, and so on. But you don't see organic oh, yes. organic crafts and other very important crafts. Yes, uh, okay. we study only the six classifications. Maybe next year we will improve ourselves because we use the open data, and this is the, my answer. Thank you. <laughs> One more here. Yes. On the average, you didn't mention the, the average, um, which one you use, whether it's Alex, Metropolis, and all that. And from what I can see from your training, I think it's quite, the iterations are quite low. And uh, how long did the training last? What? First. The size of your data, second, how long did the training last, yes. and which algorithm you use for deep learning? Which algorithm can we use? In, in confusion, uh, because from the comp um, confusion matrix, I can see that it's MATLAB you use. You have a lot of them up to 19 of them, AlexNet, GoogleNet. What I'm saying from my experience, I've seen that AlexNet is quite low in giving you accuracy. Mm -hmm. And they, for you to get to a higher accuracy, you need up to GoogleNet or VG16 or VG19, depending on the size of your computer. If you're using normal computer, it will take you like two days, three days, sometimes one month. Yes, yeah, right. And when we start this study, uh, our images is 100, yeah, and our accurate rate is very low, and then we increase our images and our accuracy rates it will be changed thank you thank you one more question I have, uh, another question uh, the composition of solid waste mm -hmm. is is of dynamic nature it changes from day one to day three and all the way okay so uh, what you have and this is one the mm -hmm. second one you rely on your evaluation on pictures. So, the, how do you account the variability, you know, during time, the dynamic nature of the composition of waste? And secondly, how sensitive do you think are uh, your pictures? Do they mm -hmm. represent, do they have a representative value of the waste itself? How many pictures do you need, do you need to represent the waste composition? More than this one, Hajam. More, more than these images. We but use 3,000. 3,600 was the number. Was this the number of pictures? Uh, 3,000. Uh, 198. Yes, we try. We try to learn <laughs> convolutional neural networks. Um, we are as PhD students, and we try to solve this problem. Thank you. Can I say you yes. had 3,198 samples? Yes. And you distributed this into these categories? Yes. Thank you. Thank One you. more question. Yes. Are you sure? 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 Yes. Are
which is accessible to each person plus five. So it could be even his previous results plus five plus. So I'm wondering why it didn't help him to put the glass. Yes, glass is a very big problem for this study. I don't know, maybe our uh, programming, uh, when we start uh, this study, and our glass is only 10%, and we increase the, our images, and then our accuracy rates will be changed. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, yes. time is over. Uh, I have a question. Are there persons here willing to present which are now in the room? No. Simple question. Then Final question. we have the option to discuss with our experts in the time before we go for dinner. It's time enough for the detail, but the right must be for everyone the same. And I remember I was all the time happy when the 10 minutes have been over. Yeah. Therefore, we can say we congratulate you and all the others, and we close the session.